Hello, I'm Sela Depp. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Dr. Maria Montessori understood the power of storytelling as a form of instruction. She began many of her lessons with a story to develop curiosity, meet young learners where they were at, and increase oral language vocabulary. My colleagues and Montessori teachings have inspired me to create this grammar story as an introduction to the grammar boxes and symbols used for sentence parsing in the elementary schools. I have purposely not colored the symbols in every second picture in the video, so you may use screenshots to print and create your own booklet to color. The mind remembers what the hand does. I hope teachers and parents will use this story as a tool to begin lessons in grammar and will refer to this narrative when presenting each of the grammar boxes individually. The Grammar Story, presented with Traditional Color Coding. The Grammar Story. In the beginning, there were no words for communicating. The first words used to communicate were naming words. We call these words nouns and use a large black triangle to represent them in our grammar work. The black color symbolizes carbon, one of the first minerals discovered by humans. The triangle shape represents the pyramids, some of the oldest structures on Earth. The word dogs names the animals. Therefore, the word dogs is a noun. The next kind of word is the article. It tells if one is speaking about a noun in general or a more specific one. In English, there are only three words that are articles. They are a and an for general nouns and the for a specific noun. The article is part of the noun family. It is always near the noun, so it is shaped as a small triangle and is colored light blue. You can see here that I have colored the words that are articles light blue. The, an, and a are words that are articles. The next kind of word is the adjective. It describes what kind of noun or how many of the noun there are, and is also part of the noun family. It is represented by a medium blue triangle. You can see here that I've colored the word two medium blue because it is an adjective that describes how many dogs there are. The next kind of word is the verb. It is an active word and is symbolized by a circle that is shaped like the sun that gives us life. It is like a ball or planet that can move all around and is colored red like the blood that moves in your veins. You can see here that I've colored the word stand red. The word stand describes what the dogs are doing, so it is a verb. The next kind of word is the adverb. Here, the adverb is pictured orbiting the verb like a planet. It depends on the verb for its existence. It is colored orange like the planet Venus. In this sentence, you can see that I've colored the word still orange for the adverb. The word still describes how the dogs are standing, and so it is an adverb. The conjunction is a kind of word that joins two sentences. Some common conjunctions are and, but, and because. It is symbolized as a pink rectangle, like a link in a chain. You can see here that I have colored the word and pink for the conjunction. It is a word that can join two complete ideas. The preposition is a word that acts like a bridge to other parts of the sentence. The preposition usually describes the position of an action or object. Words like over, under, around, through, 
on, off, up, and down are common prepositions. The preposition is symbolized as a green crescent shape. You can see in this sentence that I have colored the words over, at, green because they both describe where the dogs are looking. They are preposition words. The next type of word is the pronoun, a type of word that can replace the noun and article in a sentence. It is a part of the noun family and is symbolized by a tall purple triangle. Some common pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. In this sentence, you can see that I have replaced the second set of words for the two dogs with the word they and colored it purple for the pronoun. When we use pronouns, we make our writing sound more interesting by avoiding repeating the same thing over and over again. The last kind of word is the interjection. The interjection is a word or phrase that is used to express a strong feeling or demand. It stands alone and is symbolized by a combination of the noun and verb shape. It is usually placed with the circle at the bottom, like an exclamation mark, and is gold in color. You can see here that I've added uh-oh as a standalone sentence. It stands alone and expresses the emotion of my wondering what will happen when those two dogs see that cat. Therefore, the words, uh-oh, are an interjection. When you look for grammar material online, you will find that there are different color combinations for the grammar symbols. It does not matter what color coding you use as long as you are consistent in your presentation. Check my YouTube channel for my other grammar story, which uses the Association Montessori International Color Combination at Write. Please like and subscribe to my channel to be advised of new lesson presentations. Thank you.